course, everybody looks better in a cowboy hat. But just what started this love of the West so many of us share? We'll visit the monument to the man who had a lot to do with that when today's Wild West continues. High above the city of Denver, at an aptly named place called Lookout Mountain, you'll find the gravesite of a man who still influences the world, even though he died more than 100 years ago. I think one of the reasons people live on after they're gone is because they had such an impact on culture. I think Buffalo Bill changed our culture. He made the world fall in love with the West. Though he was born long after Buffalo Bill died, Bill Carl grew up with the Western legend. Just steps away from Cody's gravesite, Carl runs the gift shop that his family has operated off and on since 1956, next door to the Buffalo Bill Museum. The museum's fascinating collection is the subject of a book by retired museum director Steve Friesen, a collection that includes some very unusual items. This is my personal favorite right here. It's a plaster mold of his hand that was taken uh, at death. It was fairly common in those days. This was in a showcase. I had to wash the showcase glass when I was little. That thing freaked me out. Many of the museum's artifacts are from Buffalo Bill's Wild West, the show that toured the U.S. and Europe for decades in the late 1800s and early 1900s. But Buffalo Bill never called it a show. Bridal was presented to him by King Edward VII. To him, it was an exhibition of the Wild West. The West, as he knew it, disappeared in, in maybe 15 years. Cody lamented all those losses, and he wanted to teach us about what he had seen and what had disappeared. Performed in huge arenas in front of thousands of people, Cody's Wild West featured one of the last surviving herds of buffalo, stagecoach attacks, Lakota Indians, cowboys, and celebrities of the day, like sharpshooter Annie Oakley and the great Sioux chief Sitting Bull, who toured with the Wild West for one season. We have a very good collection, and one of the things that makes ours stand out is that it was founded with the last items that Buffalo Bill owned. The museum's founding collection was the property of Johnny Baker, Buffalo Bill's foster son. It includes Sitting Bull's bow and arrows and his magnificent headdress. You'll also see the headdress of Short Bull and Iron Tail. Iron Tail, who performed with the Wild West for years, was one of Buffalo Bill's best friends. Cody, a man who'd once fought Indians, became known as their friend and advocate, whose show helped preserve their way of life. It was at a time when they were trying to take their culture away from them, and Cody was trying to preserve it. Cody gave those folks a job when nobody else would. He allowed them to show the world their customs. The scout, plainsman, Civil War soldier, and showman was also an advocate for women's rights and paid women performers of the Wild West, like trick riders Lulu Parr and Goldie Griffith, the same as the men. He was very close to Susan B. Anthony, and he often spoke about how women should have the right to vote. As you look at the rare show posters and Buffalo Bill's buckskin outfits, saddles, and firearms, you'll also learn about the character of this man, who despite struggles, hardships, and adversity, never gave up. I mean, this was the kind of person he was, full of optimism, full of hope. He was the most famous person of his day, wasn't he? He absolutely was. Steve Friesen called him the Elvis of his time. When Buffalo Bill died in 1917, the city of Denver put on the kind of state funeral usually reserved for presidents. And people have been flocking to his grave here on Lookout Mountain ever since. He lived the life, the dream of the American West. The legacy of Buffalo Bill still lives on in many ways, including this very show you're watching. That's it for now. We're back next time with more cool stuff from today's Wild West. I'm Mark Bedore. We'll see you down the trail. For more information on the people and places featured in today's Wild West, or to order show DVDs and books, visit todayswildwest.com. Funding for today's Wild West provided by the Leggett Foundation and the Chuck Wagon Trail Riders Foundation.